Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be predicting my final Premier League table from game to game. So I'll be predicting every single game from now until the end of the season. So let's get straight into it. So first we have AFC Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace. Bournemouth fighting for relegation, Crystal Palace in mid-table. I think it's going to be a 1-1. 1-1 draw. Then Aston Villa, Chelsea, another team that's fighting for relegation. I don't see them getting much out of it. 2-0 Chelsea. Brighton against Arsenal. Brighton not safe. And they won't be after this game. I'm going for a 3-0 to Arsenal. Man City Burnley. It's got to be a Man City win. 4-0. Then we have an interesting game with Newcastle. Having just been taken over. Against Europa League chasers Sheffield United. What do I go for? Mm. It's going to be a 2-2. It's going to be a score. A score game. Norwich Southampton. Two sides that don't score very many goals. And I, I can see that continu continuing. 0-0. Watford against Champions League chasing Leicester. And I see this being a 2-1 Leicester. Watford still in trouble. There we have a big game in the race for the top four. Which I see ending as a 1-0 Spurs. United's run will come to an end. West Ham Wolves. I think West Ham will find some form to the end of the season. And they'll start this off with a draw. 1-1. And we have the Derby. Which Liverpool are going to sneak with a 1-0 win. And let's see what that will do to the table. So this is how it will change with my predictions. Villa will still be in the bottom three. Game in hand. Three points from safety. So that's how it will change. Let's go on to the next round of fixtures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just come to it at the end. So Spurs West Ham. It's going to be a 2-1. Burnley. What are we going to start going through this quick now? 2-2. Two, two. And then Chelsea Man City. I see Chelsea getting a point out of this. It's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Liverpool Palace, 3 0 Liverpool. Oh, this is going to be a big game. And I see Villa getting a win. 2 1. Norwich City Everton. I think this will be a scoring game because both sides' defence are very good. 3 2 Everton. Leicester Brighton. Leicester are going to go win 2 0. And Man United are going to beat Sheffield 1 0. Southampton Arsenal. Arsenal will continue their push for Europa League slash Champions League football 2 1. Wolverhampton Wanderers vs Bournemouth. Be a 1 0 Wolves. We'll update that. And move on to the next round of fixtures, which we'll see AFC Bournemouth against Newcastle. Which Bournemouth are going to sk squeeze a win. 1-0. Arsenal Norwich. Norwich will fall further to relegation with a 3-1 win. Now here we go. A derby. Aston Villa Wolves. Which I see Aston Villa squeezing a 1-0 win to keep their fight alive. Brighton and Hovalvian against Man United. I don't see anything for Brighton here. 3-1 United. Palace Burnley. A 1-1. 1-1 draw. So... Both sides continue decent seasons. And it's going to be a 2-2 here. Sheffield Spurs. Watford Southampton. I see ending as a draw. Manchester City Liverpool. I see this being a very high scoring game. And I'm going to go for a 3-3 draw. Ending Liverpool's winning streak. West Ham Chelsea. Chelsea coming away with all three points there. And Everton and Leicester will be 1-1. One, one. Let's calculate that. Which 
calculate this quickly. There we go, and move on to the next set of fixtures. Where Newcastle will play West Ham, which I see as a... Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be 2-2. West Ham getting a point to help them. Burnley-Sheffield will be a 3-2 to Sheffield. Leicester Palace will be a 2-0 Leicester. Man United will squeeze a win against Bournemouth. And Norwich will pick up a win against Brighton, keeping their, their sim survival hopes alive. So I don't want to get anything out of Man City. 4-0 win for them. Spurs Everton. Spurs will come away with a 2-0 win. Chelsea against Watford will be a 2-0 Chelsea. And Liverpool will put 5 past Villa. Wolves Arsenal, which I see Arsenal's run coming to an end. They won near Wolverhampton. Calculate. And move on to week 34, which I see as a. Um, coming to the end of the season, Bournemouth will lose, which will suck them further into trouble. Arsenal. We'll lose to Leicester. It's their run continuing. Crystal Palace Chelsea. Chelsea gets the points here. Everton will beat Southampton by two goals to one. Man City will put two past Newcastle. Watford will draw to Norwich. Big game there. West Ham United against Burnley, which I see West Ham. Squeezing a 1-0 win to keep them alive. I also see Villa getting a point against United. Sheffield drawing to West to Wolverhampton. And Liverpool continuing their run with a 4-0 win. Calculate that. And move on to the next week. AFC Bournemouth Leicester will be a... 1-0 to Bournemouth. Big result for them. Brighton will lose again, sucking them further down into trouble. 4-0 for them. And Liverpool will win 4-1 against Burnley. I see Burnley taking the lead in that game. United Southampton. It's going to be a close one. But I do see United coming out with a 2-1 win, keeping their slim top four hopes alive. I also see Norwich. Beating West Ham to keep their same hopes alive. Watford Newcastle will be a draw. Wolverhampton versus Everton will be a. Uh, ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be 2 2. Sheffield Chelsea. I do see Chelsea winning that one. And then the derby will finish as a 0 0, in my opinion. And Villa will squeeze a win against Palace, keeping them alive in the race to survive. Week 36, Arsenal, Liverpool. And I see Arsenal getting a point out of this. Burnley versus Wolves. Burnley will lose 2 0. Chelsea, Norwich. Can't see Norwich getting anything out of that game. Palace, United, United will get that win, keeping them alive. Everton will win 1-0 against Villa, denting their hopes. Leicester will win 1-0 against Sheffield. Man City will put 5 past AFC Bournemouth. Newcastle will draw to Spurs, 1-1, which could be the end of Mourinho. And a 0-0 in the South Coast Derby. And I see West Ham squeezing a... Oh, is that going to be... I'm going to go for a 1-1 there. Calculate. Let's take a look at the table so far. With two games left, that's the top. So, Liverpool are clear. And it looks like Leicester and Chelsea are going to get top four. With Leicester finishing in third, probably. But the race for... The top six goes on as Wolves, United, 
Spurs. Maybe Arsenal. Doubt it though. They got a game in hand. And then the bottom of the table is more interesting. Oh, that's close. We we see Norwich still alive. Four points from safety. Brighton three points. Watford one. And then all the teams up to Southampton. Probably Aston Villa all involved. It was going to be a close weekend. Very close. Two games to go. How do I see it finishing? Let's have a look. So we have Bournemouth, Southampton. And I see this a 2-2 draw. Aston Villa, Arsenal. I see Villa losing that 1-0. And Brighton's probably biggest game of the season. I see them sneaking a win. Boosting their hopes to stay up. Liverpool, Chelsea, no, nothing's going to stop Liverpool at the moment. They're going to pass 100 points. And United will beat West Ham. Now this is a game Norwich City have to win to stand a chance. And do I see them doing it? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to go for a 1-1. But that, that game could go either way. Sheffield are going to beat Everton. Spurs and Leicester will fight out a 2-2 draw. Watford will lose to Manchester City. And Wolves will come out on top against Palace. Now let's have a look at the Premier League table with one game to go. This is how the bottom's going to look. So every single... Mm, no, it look like they're down. They need to make up a 11-goal um, swing if they want to stay up. But all the teams from Bournemouth to Watford, all involved in a relegation scrap. It's going to be very close in the last days. Who do we see in third? We see Leicester all but sealing third. With United still, United still have a chance of squeezing into that top four. Let's go to the last day. Arsenal, Watford... This is a big, big game. What do Watford need at the bottom? They need to win this. I don't, I don't see them winning it, to be honest. I see them... Oh, oh it's a hard one. 1-1. One, one. Burnley, Brighton. Burnley are going to win that. 1-0. Chelsea, Wolves. Oh, I see, I see all we're having to win that, to be honest. Go in there, beating them. Spurs are going to beat Palace. Oh, Everton, Bournemouth, Everton. Unfortunately, Bournemouth fans, that might mean you're down. United will squeeze a win against Leicester. Now, Norwich have to win and make up an 11-goal swing against Man City. It's not going to happen, Norwich. Norwich City down. Newcastle against... Liverpool, Liverpool are going to win. Southampton, Sheffield. It's going to be a 2-1 Sheffield. And West Ham, Aston Villa will be the last game. With both above the relegation zone. And I see... Going to finish as a 2-2. Calculate that. And this is my final... Premier League table position, so we see Liverpool first on 105, Man City second on 80, Leicester on 70, and Man United squeeze above Chelsea to take that fourth spot. Chelsea, Wolves, Spurs, close, Arsenal finish above Sheffield, and at the bottom it will be, in my predictions, Norwich, Brighton, Watford will go down. With Villa, Southampton, AFC Bournemouth and West Ham all staying up by the skin of their teeth. Newcastle could be involved in it, I'm not sure. But anyway, that is the end of my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment. Do you agree with what I've put? And if you want me to do any more, please put it in the comments. I'll see you later.